Hey everyone and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. On this video we're going to be clearing out the bandit camp two teeth. We're also going to be finding four data points. We're going to get one Banuck figure and two metal flowers. So uh, there's some data points near me right now. So let's pick those up first. Uh, I don't remember the exact location but somewhere in here not too far from my location is the first one so let's see if we can find that oh it's right there so right near that car idiot army personal log i'm not sure what i expected being part of a hacker collective to be like exactly but so far the whole idiot army thing has been anticlimactic Turns out, being a world-renowned cyber threat mostly consists of hanging out in intentionally tacky-looking hollow spaces with dudes in anonymizing skins, most of which are, like, meme-based. Like there's a dude, or maybe a few dudes, with a skin modeled after that incredulous pigeon reaction hollow. Couple guys who are literally just walking kapok trees. I asked someone that what the next big operation would be. I even had suggestions. Doxing Far Zenith. Fitzing corporate warbots. Come on. And he called me a turd baron, as though data corrupted. Okay, and uh, the next one is right over around here under this bridge. May as well get some medicine. It's around here somewhere right there. Data point sleeper. Personal log. Okay, journaling. A thing I do now, apparently. That I'm supposed to do, says Dr. McLaughlin. Seems like pop psych crap if you ask me. The kind of narcissistic BS second chances are into when they take a break from blaming sleepers like me for die-off. Anyway, as though they have anything to recover from. What, the trauma of having other people save the world for you so you can criticize them for screwing it up in the first place? I mean, sorry I had to watch half the world drown while the other half died of thirst or famine. I don't know, McLaughlin says this kind of cynicism is common to folks my age. But if that's true, why aren't we talking to each other about it? Getting old just feels... lonely. No second chances for us. Alright. We're done in this area. Or at least that's all the data points I could find. They are well hidden, so there could be more. Perhaps I will be back, and the reason I say that is because the next data point is one I missed back in these ruins. Uh, it's about... I think it was right there, I want to say. I'm pretty sure that's the spot. So let's go to this campfire. Okay, so I got that marker to help guide me. I think I put it in the right spot, but if not, it's somewhere close to there. Uh, yep, I see it now. This one right here. UK vets struggle. Ten years after mustering out, UK vets struggle to make ends meet. Watford, May 1st, 2062. Ten years ago, Lance Corporal Rosalind Jeffries received her discharge paperwork at a ceremony that marked the decommissioning of all human combat forces in the Royal Air Force. Today, Jeffries and her husband live with another former military family in a small, two-bedroom flat in Watford. Well, it's not ideal, says the good-humored Jeffries, who supplements her military pension as a bartender, but it's sort of an English tradition, isn't it? Resenting elected officials for breaking promises? We make do. Jeffries isn't the only one having to make do. According to a study conducted by the Sh Social Welfare Research Institute, 
75% of veterans polled report they are unable to cover living expenses with their pension income alone. Researcher Harold Adeyemi explains it's a complicated situation. Ten years ago, few people anticipated just how high and how quickly the cost of living would rise, as funding of the NHS has gradually been siphoned into the coffers of corporate health care providers it's become increasingly difficult for veterans to access medical care. Those are just two factors of probably thousands contributing to straits becoming so dire for our veterans. But I suppose that's little comfort to someone who's struggling to feed their children. Okay, that's all I wanted to do here. Now we're gonna head out west, or I guess northwest, to this campfire, and we're just gonna go along this path. We're gonna hit that metal flower we're gonna come up to this outpost and uh, meet someone there and take out some uh, grazer dummies then we'll get that banuck figure we'll hit that metal flower and then there's a bandit camp around right here we're gonna go to so oh i need to go back to my map so fast travel here Okay, and other, hmm, we got Strider site over there. We should probably go there first and get a mount. That'll probably speed everything up, so let's go do that. And just run right through these grazers. Alright, is that a Strider over there? Looks like it. Yep. Oh, you jerk. I was trying to get this guy. Oh. Well, it might work out anyway. It shouldn't, but it might. Oh, you... Ugh. What is wrong with you? Just leave me alone. Ugh. Alright. Uh-uh, you ain't running away after that. Ah, oh, crap. Well, maybe you are. Nuh-uh. Uh, but I missed. No. I will kill you. There we go. Uh, did that not hit either? Ah, what the heck? There. Yeah, you're gonna die for chasing off my strider, you jerk. Uh, I think he's coming back. Let me hide. Maybe not. Keep quiet now. I'm not sure. I don't know what that was. Oh, that's a grazer. And that's a watcher. All right, is there a strider nearby? Oh, they're fighting over there. Who is that? A Nora Brave. Oh, hey, a new machine, Lancehorn. Uh, agile and confident when provoked into combat, its large drilling horns can cause severe damage. Okay, so I guess it's just sort of like a grazer, but more aggressive. It's got drill horns. Destroying these components will disable the drill horn attacks. And it has a freeze canister. Chill water can be looted from this canister. Shooting this canister with a freeze arrow will trigger an explosion, freezing anything in the area. Okay, well, I got no reason to be messing with those guys, and my strider is gone. So, thank you very much, stupid grazer that wouldn't leave me alone. Let's see, is there any others nearby? Not really. Ah, this sucks. Fear the Nora! I wonder if I could figure out where that dude ran off to, because be the best scenario for me to uh, have a mount. Oh well, screw it. I guess we're going on foot. Oh wait, what's that? Oh, that's a scrapper. Well, why couldn't the striders come back? I'm just gonna run. Just gonna run.
Okay, let's drop down a waypoint. We'll go to that metal flower first. And actually, uh, one of those horned uh, machines is right next to that flower. I wonder if I can mount those. I've never tried. Well, that'll give me something to test out. I'm still angry at that grazer. If I see another grazer, he's gonna die. I know they've been colluding. Every grazer will suffer for my injustice. Uh, new hunting ground. Begin the hunting trials. Really? Thought I already had that one. Yeah, I already had that one. Nah, whatever. Not going there yet. Oh, is that a grazer I see? This is because of your friend. Fascinating. If they weren't looking for me. Yeah, that's right. That's what you get. Oh, got a grazer heart. That could actually come in handy. Scrappers are here for the parts. Uh, we got a watcher over there. Do I need to deal with him? Probably not. Uh, maybe I do. Oh, there's a broadhead. I want to see if I can mount this guy. Let's call him over. Uh, or not. Oh, here he comes. Oh, hey, I need more arrows. I may, may as well make some fire ones, too. Okay, what does overloading you do? Oh, and I should probably scan you. Let's go ahead and scan him. There we go, new machine, Broadhead. Heavy runners that will bolt when disturbed. So they must be dealt with silently or quickly. Oh, hey, it's mountable, it tells you. I didn't know that. Uh, let's see, he's got a blaze canister on his back. Looks like two of them. And his horns. Destroying this component disables the charge attack. Okay, well, I can mount these guys. That's good to know. And, oh, hi. Didn't even see you guys. Uh, what's going on over here? Is my mount getting into trouble? Oh, never mind. He's just owning. Showed that watcher who's boss. Ow, oh, it's these red eye ones. They're too strong. And I don't know what's up with that dude. He was acting all weird. I'm coming! Don't die on me! Okay, well, now that this area is all cleared out, my flower is around here. Let's see if I can find it. We have more enemies to kill? Possibly. This guy's apparently want to cause trouble. Like, oh, Aloy's here. We're just gonna own everything. Oh, no, you don't. Nah. Bad shot. Ow, rolled right into that. Get over here. Get crippled, get killed. God, I love that heavy attack. It's so great. Dude, what is up with this area? Just leave me alone. Ah, fine. Let's see, they have blaze canisters. Let's see if I can hit them. Um, maybe? I think I hit it. No, I must have missed. That one, maybe, but I don't think so. Those are tiny canisters. They're kind of hard to hit. Oh, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, you. Let's go. Holy crap, just tore down that tree. 
Oh! I'm having so much difficulty hitting this stupid canister. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna set you on fire. Ow! Leave me alone! Ow, okay. Uh, we need a different game plan. This is not working. How about a tripwire? Oh, hey, there's my flower. There we go. Much better. Oh, you jerk! Leave me alone! I didn't even want to fight you in the first place. Alright, you're gonna run right into my trap. Come on. I know you're stupid enough to do it. Okay, hopefully that's all of them. Used all my freaking medicine, you jerks. I needed that. Okay, well, I got my flower. And you can see only four more in this set. And if I ever get to Meridian, I can trade this in for something shiny, apparently. All right, a little bit more medicine here. That's good. Okay, let's go up to this outpost. Haven't been there before. There's a merchant there, too. I should sell stuff and get my free sample box. Oh, hey, not yet. I'm trying to loot this. Now we can... Oh, wait. We got medicine. Okay, now we can go. Let's see, are you any faster? Mm, no, seems about the same speed. Although he's probably nasty when he hits things. Huh, apparently they don't mind me taking my uh, mountain here. Kind of interesting. All right, I know there's a supply box over here. Let's grab that. And there's a person we can talk to. She's over here. Gara. Little Spark, what blew you across the mountains? I was headed for Meridian. Then you're stuck here with the rest of us until the Karja opened the fort gates. I'm Jira, are you drinking? I'm... not. Look, with the news I've been hearing about the Nora, first one's on me. Every day I try to share one with someone who I like. Eh, most days I have to settle for someone I can beat in a fight. It's a little gulp. Here's to you. <coughs> <coughs> what is this? Scrapper sap, the good stuff. Keeps you warm in a snowstorm, strips the grit out of a gear wheel. Tell me about the Osram. You're Osram, aren't you, Jira? Here, I'm just an outlander, and that fits my wheel just fine. You don't know about Osram women? No. Well then, in the claim where we're from, we don't own property. We become it. Alewife, forge wife, and so on. Blade wife, if we're inclined to shear our heads and kiss the steel. It is what it is. Make strong marriages, or infamous criminals. Me, I'd sooner sleep under the stars than a roof I don't own. What about the Karja? The Karja... I'm not sure what to make of them yet. Some say under those feathered helmets, there's more feathers. But they do all right by me. Apart from closing the valley every time the wind blows. Well, when it's open again, you can see Meridian from the fort walls. It's that close. No, it's that big little spark. You can't miss it. <laughs> They'd hate that. If you do, don't go further west than the Great Lake. Or you'll meet the wrong kind of Karja. The wrong kind? What do you mean, the wrong kind of Karja? You've been done up tight as a bolt in Norland, haven't you? The Karja are still at war. Only now, it's with each other. The winners, those are the Sun Karja. 
And the losers, the ones who liked the old ways, they're the Shadow. The Shadow, Karja. And they went further west? To squat in the old border forts on the edge of the Sundom. Those Karja boys love building forts. What did you hear about the Nora? So, what did you hear about the Nora? Something to do with that nasty scratch you've got on your neck. I'm gonna find them. Sounds like a hard road to go down. Right now? It's the only road I know. Uh, goodbye. Thank you, Jira. You've been kind. I'm Aloy. Can't guarantee I'll stop calling you Little Spark. Stop by again when the fort opens, won't you? Okay, uh, let's go talk to this merchant. I got stuff to sell. Oh, and you know what else? I realized I never put another mod on this outfit. So I should do that. Uh, and I'm in the wrong menu. Modify outfits. Here we go. Let's see. We can get resist fire. Resist freeze. Shock. Resist corruption. Resist melee attacks. And resist shock. Well, I either want fire or corruption. I think I'm going to go with corruption. There's been a lot of corrupted uh, enemies, so that seems like a good choice. Plus, the melee attacks is really good. So, let's go with that. And I want my free sample box. Uh, let's sell some stuff. I got all kinds of crap. Well, actually, uh, one thing I want to check first. Go under buy and outfits. There might be a new outfit I can get. I could get another one of those if I really wanted to, but I don't. No need for two. Uh, I could get this. A Banuk Sickness Eater Heavy. Bound with cables and cloth steeped in ancient machine oils, this Banuk Shaman's outfit protects from corruption damage. That could come in really handy, and I've got the stuff I need... Let's go ahead and do it. 760 metal shards and a grazer heart. Oh, I didn't mean to equip it. Well, actually, I kind of want to equip it. Corruption damage is mostly what I've been dealing with. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's go to sell. Resources. I got all kinds of stuff. All right, broadhead lens going away. Fellow back lens as well. That's just for shards. That's also for shards. Uh, these can go away. Well, is that? Those two. Those two as well. Those three. Ancient wreath. Don't need that. Rich meat. I want that. Stalker lens. I can go away. Scrapper heart. I should probably hold on to that. Animal Talisman Tail, don't need that. Watcher Lenses, also can go away. Sawtooth Lens, same deal. That's just for shards. Watcher Heart, I don't really need these anymore, I don't think. And I can always get more, so I'm just gonna sell these, taking up inventory space. Luminous Braiding, I don't know what this is for, so I'm gonna hold on to it. Same with this Slag Shine Glass. And I think I want the rest of this stuff. I got a lot of blaze. So I have a lot of ridge wood. But we'll hang on to it for now, but I might get rid of those at some point. And a ton of sparkers. Uh, do I really have 197? I don't need that many. But I've got the inventory space, so we'll keep it for now. And what are these? Chill water? Yeah, I got a whole bunch of this stuff. Okay. Oh, and mods. I'll just get rid of these green ones. I got plenty of blues to play with. Green. Don't need him. Okay. And I got my new outfit. I want to put some mods in that. Let's see. Resist freeze and resist shock. Hmm, I don't really want to put them in, in this one, to be honest. Uh, well, for now, let's put my other outfit back on. Uh, let's see, how do I do that? I guess I go to inventory. There we go. 
That should be better. Because it's just... Uh, it's got some resistance to everything, so... Sort of all-purpose, that'll work. This is if I need it for corruption. And I'll probably put some corruption mods on it to up that even higher, so we'll see. All right. Oh, and I got that treasure box I didn't open. Oh my god, look at all of these. Uh, apparently I haven't been opening these. Well, let's do that really quick. So many. Yeah, there was a blue mod in there. I didn't see it. I'm just grabbing all this stuff. I'll figure it out later. Lancehorn heart. Interesting. Okay. Now, this little outpost has two of those dummies. Here's one of them. You need these for a trophy. Got to knock down all... I think there's 23 of them in the Nora lands. And we're probably getting at least somewhat close now. I don't know what my count's at, but... I've been taking them out whenever I find them. And we're pretty much done with this outpost. Next up, we're gonna grab this Banuk figure. And you start the climb right here. And those symbols kind of guide you. So we can climb up right here. across this and we're pretty much there and there we go Banuk artifact I name you you can see we've got that set now so when we make it to Meridian I can trade this in for something we'll figure out what that is Okay, next up, I'm gonna grab this metal flower right there. And I wanna send my mount over to me if he can make it up the hill. Actually, let's, um, we'll just go right outside the outpost. I don't wanna bug him out. He might be finicky like my last one. So maybe, like, right here should work. And here he comes. Okay, that is only 200 units away, so should get there quickly. I'm gonna run right through this guy for fun. Eat my attack! Oh, got owned! <laughs> wow. That is quite effective. Oh, ow! Oh, you evil, evil grazer thing. Oh, you're not a grazer, you're a dual horn. Alright, I need to heal. Hit that. Oh. Oh, wait, that's not a blaze canister. What is that? Let's see, I forget what it was. Uh, it's. Oh, Lancehorn, that's their name. Freeze canisters. And they're weak to tear. Body's weak to nothing. Well, uh, let's just use a tripwire. Come on, come get it. Hey. Hey, you're not, we're not done here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, he's. Oh, man. My mount was pissed off. You knocked me over, huh? Bam. Eat the horn. 
Well, this guy can certainly look after himself. Okay, back on the road. Let's see, where was this flower? I think it's, oh right, it's right up here. Don't remember the exact spot, but up here in the hills. Uh, actually, let me open this up. I think it's up here. Let me uh, get off this guy, he's being a little unwieldy. Alright, come on, focus, find it for me. Is that it? That's it. Alright, so what is it, two more in the set? No, three more. Okay, and uh, that bandit camp is right there. So we need to take this trail up, or we could go past and up the back way, but we'll just take the shorter one. And let's see if my mount can actually get down. Yay, he's not quite as stupid as the other one. He's still getting a little confused, but he did make it. Okay, oh, and let's get rid of this stupid marker. Get rid of it. Oh, we got... Corrupted zone. Uh, let's see, can I just head up the hill? New infected zone, corrupted zone. Oh, jeez, I almost fell. I don't know what would have happened. Uh, yeah, this went. Snow's got a bite up here. Oh! Uh, well, I guess we're leaving the mount here. Don't think he can manage that. Oh! I almost can't manage that. That was scary. Smoke, red tatters. More bandits like the ones at Devil's Thirst. See, where do I go from here? I guess up here. We got the new bandit camp, two teeth. Let's make that my active quest, and we need to liberate it. Jeez, look at the view. It's incredible, and you can see that tower we were at. All the way, way out in the distance. <laughs> okay, what are we working with here? Oh, we got two guys right there. Wait, they're level three? Wow, easy. Someone trying to get me. Oh, he saw me. Let's see if I can take him out real quick. Got him. Let's make some more arrows for this. If I'm gonna be sneaky, this is the way to do it. Let's see. Okay, what else? Got a dude sitting over there. Got a dude with a heavy gun. Bandit heavy, he's level six. Got another thug over there. We got two people in that building. And we got more guys up top. And the alarm is right there. So, uh, what can we do about this? A dude with a heavy gun is coming right over here. 
What if I could lure him over here without seeing me? We can try it. Nope, won't let me. Okay, which way is that guy looking? Right at me. Is there any other way up? Uh, no, doesn't look like I could climb there. Well, he's going away. Maybe I can sneak in. Possible. Oh! He's looking this way. Maybe I should go into the building? That looks a little promising, although he's going away now. I might be able to manage this. Oh, he's starting to see me. Well, let's just go in. Oh, right over his head. Crap. Well, so much for stealth. Let's run to the alarm. No, you won't. Oh, crap. Oh, I got it. Oh, but I'm stuck. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Almost died because I got stuck. That would have been terrible. Okay, I need some helpers. We got some guys right here. You help me. Okay, let's get the other guy. I'm not leaving you. Hey, trophy earned, headshot 30 human enemies. Okay, this is where we're making our stand, guys. Oh, got someone up there. Not anymore. Uh, let me heal up just a little bit. Oh, who's shooting me now? Oh, there's a dude like right there. Okay, I think we've only got four left. What if I can drop down and kill this guy? She's up on high. Ah! Oh well, that was something. Oh well, this is a bad idea. Let's not tango. Oh crap! Keep getting stuck on things. Oh, he's shooting heavy weapon at me. Let's uh, get a better approach. I was hoping I could strike him from above, but it didn't want me to do that. Probably because he's a boss. Uh, instead, let's light him on fire. He can go on fire too. He likes it. One more. Found him. You. You will be lit on fire. Gonna tear you down. Well, it wasn't pretty, but it's cleared. And now I can get some resources and hopefully get back to a decent amount on my medicine pouch and just get some other crap for money, I guess. And I used three health potions, so any health potions I find will be helpful. And look at this, we got another one of these guys. I think that's the only one here. But we'll look around. Maybe there's another one. Ooh, something blue. Ah, uh, that slag shine grass again. Or glass. Some metal shards. Some more blue stuff. Uh, that glass again. This time, desert glass. Uh, if we want to, we could grab that heavy weapon, although we can't take it with me. 
The heavy weapons just seem to be uh, temporary. If you kill someone with one, you can then wreak havoc with it. So, like, I can pick this thing up and start shooting if I wanted to. But it doesn't do me any good, so everyone's dead. If I wanted to make use of that, I would have had to kill him as one of the first ones and then just went crazy with it. Okay, let's check inside the building. All kinds of goodies. And we've also got a data point. Robar is coming. There's a Robar location coming to your neighborhood. This is a special offer exclusively for print value money recipient. Did you know that Robar, America's premier automated brew pub, is opening a location near you? Our Boston, Chicago, and St. Louis locations are famous nationwide for their delicious craft beer selections. Artisanal takes on classic bar food and gracious robotic bar staff. Why spend good drinking money on tips? Make tonight a Robar night at our new print value money recipient location. Location and enjoy 15% off your tab. Oh, I've got three skill points. I've been looking at the three point skills and I think I want this one. Dodge prowess. You can hold circle for a long roll or a long dodge roll, or you can tap it for a short one. That long one is going to be amazing for Sawtooth, and uh, it shows you right there why. Their lunge is super far, so having a super long jump will get me to safety, which I desperately need. So let's go ahead and get that. And I've gotten everything I wanted here let's talk to the merchant get my free sample box and I'll also open up these treasure boxes and did I pick up any mods I would want for my uh, other outfit here Not really. Yeah, not really. Okay, we'll wait on that one. And we liberated this bandit camp, two teeth. So we are done. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.